And this is important for us to know and to remember and to teach and rear within our children. Especially in this day and time in which we live in. Especially in this country in which we live in. We need to instill in our children. And we need to show our children after we have shown ourselves. We need to show to our children and to show our families and to constantly remind ourselves and our families of the bounty of Islam and how every other thing that is un-Islamic it leads to naught but destruction it only leads to destruction because you have those from mankind who will strive with the utmost striving to convince you the opposite so we need to remind ourselves we need to be strong within ourselves and then we need to call them and to remind them that the only way to success is in Islam the only way to safety is in Islam and every other road, every other way will lead you to destruction every other road, every other way its final destination is the hellfire Allah Ta'ala He says وَقَالُوا كُنُوهُ دَنْ أَوْ نَصَارَى and they say, be a Jew or be a Christian. Tahtadu. And then you will be guided. Allah Ta'ala He says, Qul. Rather say to them, Bal Millata Ibrahim Hanifa wa makana min al mushrikeen. He says, but rather say to them, No, but rather the way of Ibrahim is the way of Hanifiyya, to establish the Tawheed to go away from the Shirk and verily he, Ibrahim, he was not from the polytheist Qulu, but rather say to them Amanna Billah wa ma unzila ilayna wa ma unzila ila Ibrahim wa Ismail wa Ishaq wa Yaqub wa Asbaq wa ma utiya Musa wa Isa wa ma utiya Nabiyun من ربهم لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن له مسلمون. Allah Taala He says, but rather say to them, we believe in Allah and we believe in that which has been revealed to us and that which has been revealed to Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the Asbaq and that which has been given to Musa and Isa. And that which has been given to the prophets from their Lord. We do not make any distinction between them. We don't believe in some while disbelieving in others. La, we make no distinction between them. We believe in all of the messengers and prophets of Allah Ta'ala. And verily we are Muslims. Allah Ta'ala He says that we are to say to them, فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِثْلِ مَا آمَنْتُمْ بِهِ فَقَدِ اهْتَدَوْا وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّمَا هُمْ فِي الشِّقَاقِ فَسَيَكْفِيكَهُمُ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمِ Allah Ta'ala He says and continue to say to them that if you if you ones who claim that the guidance is in Judaism and in Christianity for you ones who claim that the guidance is not in Islam the reality is, is that if you believe as they have believed, then you will be upon guidance, then you will be guided. If you believe as the believers believe, then you will be upon guidance and you will be guided. And if they were to turn away, then verily they are only in opposition. So Allah will suffice you against them. And He, Allah, is the all-hearer, the all-knower. This is the reality, Ya Ibad. And the ulama, they explain. And this is why we say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah for the ni'mah of the sun. Alhamdulillah for the ni'mah of al-Islam. Because the way of success, the way that if they were to believe it, then no doubt this is the way of al-Islam. This is the way of the Sahaba. The ulama, they explain that that which is intended by Allah Ta'ala's statement and if you believe as they believed that the they here it means 
the believers. That they hear it means the believers. And as we know, never do you find believer in the Quran except that it means first and foremost the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Sahaba. Never do you find believers in the Quran except first and foremost it's referring to the Sahaba. So if they believe as they, the Sahaba, believed, then they will be upon guidance. So alhamdulillah for Islam and the Sunnah. And we make no distinction, we don't separate between the two. As some of the Salaf, they used to say, I don't know which bounty is greater upon me. The fact that Allah guided me to Islam, or that Allah guided me to the Sunnah. These are blessings that we need to understand and to realize their scope and their magnitude. And we need to strive hard in attaining them. And we need not to belittle them, as many times they are belittled. And we need to implement that in which we know, Ya Iman. And be warned for being neglectful and ungrateful for this bounty. Be warned in thinking that this bounty in which you have been bestowed with is actually a bounty for someone else. Allah Ta'ala He says, لا تمنوا علي إسلامكم بل الله يمن عليكم أن هداكم للإيمان Allah Ta'ala He says and count not your Islam as a blessing upon me but rather Allah has conferred a blessing upon you that He guided you to Iman be mindful ya ibad because too often, we hear, especially when the argument comes, especially when the disagreement comes, especially when you're arguing with your brother, or at even times, a kafir, that the one who was misguided and incorrect in his statement, he will say things like, you should be happy I'm a Muslim, because if not, X, Y, and Z. It's a good thing for you, I'm a Muslim. Because if not, I would have done this, that, and the third to you. Don't let this statement come across your tongue. Prevent this thought from entering into your mind. Because the reality of it is, is you should be happy you're a Muslim. The bounty is upon you that you're a Muslim. So you should realize the scope and the magnitude of this bounty. Don't utilize this bounty as a blessing upon others. First and foremost, this is a blessing upon you. Because if not for the Islam, then no doubt you have been destroyed. No doubt, if it wasn't for your Islam, then that which you claim that you will do to the other, worse would have happened to you. So don't count it as a blessing upon others, but rather understand that Allah Ta'ala has conferred a great blessing upon us, that He has guided us to Islam, and that He has guided us to the Sunnah. So don't put your Islam and your Sunnah in jeopardy by exposing it to those who wish to take it away from you. Don't put your Sunnah and your Minhaj in jeopardy by exposing it to those who will dilute you. By exposing it to those who will trick you. By exposing it to those who will try their best to get you upon their way from the Mubtadi'ah. From the people of Bid'ah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is sadiq and masduq. He is truthful. And he is believed. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَسَفْسَرِكُ أُمَّتِي عَلَى ثَلَاثٍ وَسَبَعِينَ فِرْقَةٍ كُلُّهَا فِي النَّارِ إِلَّا وَاحِدَةٍ وَقَالُوا وَمَا تِلْكَ هِيَ فِرْقَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَالَ مَا أَنَا عَلَيْهِ الْيَوْمُ وَأَصْحَابِي The Prophet ﷺ, he said, 
and my ummah will split, it will break and divide into 73 different sects. All of them will be in the fire except for one. So they asked, and which is that one, O Messenger of Allah? He said, that which I and my companions are upon today. That which I and my companions are upon today. So if you find individuals who are Muslim, but they are not upon that which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een were upon, then stay away from them. Don't sit with them. Don't eat with them. Don't read their books. Don't listen to their tapes. Don't download their mp3s. Don't visit their websites. Save yourself. Save yourself. Safeguard this bounty. Safeguard this gift that Allah Ta'ala has given you and that He has guided you to the Sunnah. Don't expose yourself to destruction. Don't throw the Sunnah behind your back and indulge yourselves in bid'ah. The most evil of affairs are newly invented matters. Every newly invented matter is a going astray. And every going astray is in the hellfire. If you leave off the sunnah, and you lean to those who are for bid'ah, be they from the tabligh, be they from the ikhwan, be they from the ash'ariyah, wa mu'tazila, or whoever, then you will have believed in the safety that Allah Ta'ala has bestowed upon you. And you will have been exposing yourself to destruction. You will be exposing yourself to destruction. Destroy not yourselves with your own hands and you know better. We need to thank Allah Ta'ala for this bounty of Islam. For this bounty of the Sunnah. We need to thank Allah Ta'ala in word and deed. Not just with our tongues, but also with our actions. We need to thank Allah Ta'ala in word and deed. We need to take our religion seriously. Study it, learn it, teach it. Instill it in ourselves and in our families. Because this is the only way to success. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِنَا عَذَابِ النَّارِ أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفُ لَهَا لِي وَلَكُمْ وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ فَإِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَشَّاءِ وَمُنْكَرِ